How's it going? And welcome to the sixth installment of the bodyweight routine. Now this month in our program, we've been focusing on mindset and how that can affect different things throughout your life when you're trying to achieve your goals. Well today, because we're focusing on mindset this month, I want to talk to you a little bit about visualization training and teach you a routine that you can do without any weights, just using really the power of your mind as well as the power of your body. Now what visualization training is and what we're going to be doing is it's a process of using isometric training which is holding a contraction or a flexed position and combining that with the mental imagery of moving a weight or doing an exercise. So for example, our first exercise is going to be the bicep curl, but we're not going to use weight. What you're going to do is you're going to hold your arm out, pretend as if you're holding a weight and then contract flexing it up all the way through the range of motion and then back down to your side. Repeat it going three to five seconds through each contraction both ways and really make sure you're engaging that muscle as best you can so that you're not just simply moving it up and down but you're really flexing and moving it through the full range. So go through your number of reps with that, switch over to the other side and be sure you get both sides going through that full range of motion, flexing and extending. Three to five seconds each. All right, that's gonna hit the biceps as well as the triceps if you're flexing on that push out. What we're gonna do next is work the chest. Now with the chest, it requires a little bit of muscle memory. If you're not used to engaging your chest, you might not be able to feel the chest contraction very well. So what you want to do is actually hold your hands together and push your hands together and you should feel some engagement through the elbow or through the armpits, through the chest, through the shoulders. That's a similar feeling that you want to replicate with this next movement. What you're going to do, take your arms up and squeeze them together, really flexing that chest and bring them out to your side. Flex them in together and flex back out to the side. Each one of these also lasting three to five seconds, all the way in and out. And what it looks like from the side, bring it in, bring it out. What that's going to do is it's going to engage those pec muscles, also signaling the central nervous system to respond and actually simulate the same intensity that you would use if you were actually using resistance training. So all of these movements will actually get a pretty good workout from Plus, they can be done anywhere. You can do them in the passenger seat of your car. You can do them while you're at work, sitting at your desk. All of these you're able to do almost anywhere because they require no weight and no equipment. This next one is going to be for the legs. You're going to want to take a seat so that you can extend the leg fully out and back. And then visualize that you're pushing something away. So bring the foot up as if it's propped on a surface and press away, really contracting those leg muscles, those glutes and those hamstrings and pull it back in. Press it away, pull it back in. Each one three to five seconds. And be sure to get both legs. Excellent. The next we're going to do is for the core. Now what you're going to be doing for the core rather than going through multiple contractions is you're going to hold one static contraction for a certain duration of time. So this would be similar to holding a plank for 60 seconds, only instead of actually supporting your own body weight, you're going to visualize it and imagine that you're contracting those muscles. You do physically contract them and flex them, but you want to visualize as if you were supporting a plank or some other heavier movement so that it really forces you to engage those muscles to their maximum capacity. So the first thing with this one you want to do is not just flex the muscles and hold, but you want to be sure you have a proper hip position and proper spinal alignment. So what you're going to do for that, and if you look to the side, you're going to make sure that your hips aren't leaned slightly forward like they kind of are with me right now. You're going to roll them in forward by sucking that belly button in and making sure you have a nice neutral spine. So after you suck that belly button in and keep that core contracted, you're going to sit and hold it just like I'm doing right now for a duration of 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how hard you want to challenge yourself. 
when you're contracting like this, it does become difficult to breathe. So make sure you're focusing on that breath and not holding your breath as you hold that contraction. Otherwise you won't be able to hold it for very long. And then release when you're done. If you want to do multiple reps, be sure you reset those hips by rolling them forward, tucking that belly button in so you have a nice supported spine. And then contract and hold. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to shift down to the calf and the toe muscles. This one, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera a little bit so you can see me. And then we're going to get into those exercises. All right, with this next one, what you're going to do with one foot extended out is you're going to visualize yourself just pushing something away from your toe, which is contracting that calf muscle on the back. And then imagine yourself pulling something back that's looped around your foot so that you can engage that shin muscle and push it away and pull it back. Push it away, hold the contraction, pull it back, hold the contraction. Really making sure you get both directions and a full range of motion. And then over to that other side, push it away and pull it back. Push it away and pull it back. Excellent job. All right, so that is going to be our body weight routine for this time around. What you're gonna do is, because you're not using weights on this, your intensity is gonna be determined by how long you hold each rep. So two to three seconds is gonna be much easier. Five to eight seconds is going to be extremely difficult, but you can keep your rep ranges and set ranges the exact same. Um, also, what you wanna do for all of those movements is be sure you go both directions because you're not only going to be engaging the one muscle, for example, bicep curl, you're not just engaging that bicep, but as you push it away, you get the tricep as well. When you're pushing together with that pec exercise and pulling away, you're getting the chest as well as the upper back. With the core, it's the whole abdomen, and also with the quads and hamstrings, the shins and the calves. So ultimately, you can get a full body workout without using any weights, and without even moving your own body weight, all you're doing is visualizing that weight and forcing the contraction similar to an isometric movement, and your body's gonna see the results. All right, until next month, see you guys soon.